what is up everybody and thank you for coming back to my channel today we're going to be going over the numbers for Caledon Ontario which actually have shown a really good promise as the numbers have really been crushed there I think there's really a lot of scope uh, for a home buyer to purchase in Caledon as home prices were really inflated before and have come down significantly for people to actually find some good buys there. So without further ado, we're going to get into those numbers. If you have not been to this channel before, just a quick summary of what we do here is we compare month over month, not year over year. We compare each dwelling type, especially the most dominant asset class within those cities. So you are able to actually gauge and see as a buyer or a seller what makes the most amount of sense if you are in the market of buying or selling your home. So if you do have any questions regarding real estate or mortgages, I highly encourage you to book a call via my calendar link. It is a 30 minute hassle free consultation and we can go over all things mortgages and real estate. So if you do have any questions, feel free. Whatever I know, I will be more than happy to share with you. So without further ado, let's get into those numbers. In Caledon, Ontario, we've got we've got two dominant types of asset classes, really detached and townhomes currently uh, throughout all of Caledon. So we're gonna look at that and see what has happened month over month. And what we've got is for all property types, we're at 1.227, but last month we were actually at $1.1 million. So one quick note regarding Caledon, and especially if you get into the township of King, is that you do have some high density areas within Caledon, as you do in the township of King, but there are also areas within Caledon and King Township where you have sprawling acreages with single family homes also. That will skew the numbers of what has happened within these areas. However, by using the median price, we tend to take away the tops and the bottoms to, to find that median point again and gauge what is actually happening. The only real issue is that there could be several homes that were sold on, you know, sprawling acreage, large single family home versus your cookie cutter development properties uh, within both Caledon and King Township. So just to keep that in mind when you're looking at the numbers and trying to understand why is it that, you know, the detached market segment shot up like crazy. What we've got is 1.227 last month. We were at 1.1. So obviously a hundred uh, $127,000 increase there. If we look at the inventory here of what has happened, we've got this month's inventory sitting at 456 active listings, new listings, 247. Uh, last month, we were at 455 units, of which 198 are new listings. Let's get into detached market. And the detached market, we're at 1.287 last month. 1.332 so a significant decrease in the detached market segment we're just going to see exactly what has happened with the numbers there so we've got here active listings of 344 of which 195 are new listings last month 336 of which 143 were new listings and you can just see from the chart here there was an uptick the reason for the uptick of inventory throughout pretty much all of the gta is because many home sellers were actually waiting for september they had their homes listed saw no activity during the summer and they all were advised the same way to wait until september to take advantage of lower interest rates and more buyers coming onto the market well, now we're seeing a larger amount of inventory, which is great for buyers as we currently are in a buyer's market territory. So you buyers are actually going to be able to take advantage of the current scenario, but for how long, we're not exactly sure. Let's move on into townhomes as that is the next dominant asset class. 861,000 is the median price last month we were at 932,000 so a significant decrease there let's see exactly the amount of inventory uh, that was sold obviously it's still a very very small sample size considering only 11 were sold 
34 active listings, 23 new listings. Last month, we were actually at 38 active listings and new listings are 30. So there is quite a significant decrease in the actual two dominant asset classes within Caledon. It'll be very interesting to see what happens in the coming months. If we look back at what has actually happened throughout all property types, we did see an increase. More than likely there, it was in an asset class which has a very small amount of sales and has affected the median price of all the property types uh, combined. We, we still see a contraction within the market of Caledon. Specifically, I have seen uh, home prices where, you know, when they're out of reach, let's say within, say, the Brampton or Mississauga area, people are able to, if willing to drive just that little bit further north to be able to get something that they probably couldn't have even afforded a couple years back. So great opportunity to perhaps uh, take a look and take advantage of lower home prices, but getting a lot more value for your dollar. I hope the video is of value. Please be sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, share the video with somebody that may be on their own real estate journey that can benefit. And until then, stay savvy, stay informed, stay knowledgeable, may your investments flourish and your dreams of home ownership become a reality. And we'll catch you on the next one.